WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and I'm able to report we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The S&P is up 28 points. The Nasdaq is up 290. That's 7 tenths percent and over 2 percent. 5 percent for the semis are up 155 points. Three quarters of a percent for the trend is up 102. The Dow's off 58. The Russell's down 15. Gold is off 19 bucks. Silver's down 13 cents. Slice wheat crude is up 44 pennies. Natural gas is off a nickel. The 30 year Treasury printed out 125.30. That's off 20 ticks out there. And U.S. dollar index up at least 276 ticks, printed out at 10407. Let's take a look at that nine panel market update chart as we begin with the ES mini upper left hand corner. What do we know about it? Well, what we know is that prices traded into a trend line. It's trading with inside its daily profile. It has a sell the D point pattern, but it has strong support. That strong support would be between the range of 4076 and 4105. Now, price should get down to that 4105 level as long as that spot volatility index remains above its 50 day exponential moving average, and it is today. The 50 day is at 1846. Price right now at 19. Hold on a minute here. The 50 day is at 1846 and price at 1909. The NQ. So the NQ made it all the way back to the top of that daily profile, that new profile that formed below price, which is a bullish message. And that level held yesterday. And now we've got price taking a run for its roads momentum indicator top that would be negated if price closed above 13,979 and a quarter. Now, I was trying to do a volume metric inside of the QQQ ETF out there. And it looks like we're pushing into the, well, we're definitely pushing into the swing point, the daily swing point with volume. And it looks like we might be doing the same thing on the weekly basis. So these highs are very important for us to watch. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, U.S. dollar index traded above its 0.6 rate retracement of its last move lower. That would suggest a move up to 104.40. Uh, gold is testing the support of the bottom of its weekly profile at 1945.50. We get below that, we'd have to take a look at the daily TD9 count breakout level for where price might head to. Silver is trading below its TD9 uh, a pattern out there, a close below 23.23, suggests lower price for it. Lightspeed crude, uh, testing the support of its uh, the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. So that area to watch is 72.18. If we get below that, that suggests lower price. And natural gas made its way all the way up to the top of that daily profile and found resistance. $2.61. The high so far today, $2.60. Cents. Folks, stay tuned for the Traders Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care and be safe out there.